speaking of Matt. Yeah. There's there was uh they were see he was seen out uh -huh. with the hottie. Okay. Okay. Bye. NBA players are celebrities in their own right, especially if they've proven themselves a valuable asset to the teams they belong to. So it's no surprise that a lot of NBA players prefer someone of their own status. This is why today, we'll be taking a look at the many NBA players that have fallen in love with female celebrities and what happened next. But first, a simple reminder on how to enter our brand new giveaway. We will be giving away either an iPhone X Max, the new iPad Mini, or a MacBook Pro. It's all your choice. So be sure to leave a like, comment the keyword, subscribe, and turn on notifications to enter the giveaway. It's really that simple. Kicking off this list is NBA legend Michael Jordan, who married Cuban-American supermodel Yvette Prieto. The greatest basketball player of all time met the professional model back in 2008 at a nightclub, and a year later, things started getting serious and they began living together. Things were going smoothly for the pair, and in 2011, MJ then proposed to his new love. Everyone who's anyone in both the entertainment industry and sports were invited to their wedding that actually cost them $10 million. They said their vows at the Episcopal Church of Bethesda by the Sea in Palm Beach, Florida. The lovely couple now has two kids, twin daughters named Isabel and Victoria. While it was the first marriage for Yvette, we all know that it wasn't for Jordan, since he was married to Juanita Vinoy from 1989 to 2006. Next, we have Carmelo Anthony and Lala Vasquez. Lala and Carmelo have been together for years now. In fact, they even had a son named Kian before they married each other back in 2010. But their relationship was filled with numerous storms, including several cases of infidelity from the NBA star. They also had a short separation in 2017, but were able to reconcile despite more cheating allegations against Carmelo. Just this year, rumors once again circulated that the Anthonys have finally split up, this time after seeing Lala with Aquaman star Yahya Abdul-Mateen II. But Mrs. Anthony denied this and said she and Carmelo have been trying to reignite the spark in their marriage. This next former NBA couple were in fact madly in love at one point, but their relationship ended in a real mess. I'm talking about ex-couple Matt Barnes and Gloria Govan. The two met when Gloria was just 12 years old, and after years of being apart, Gloria and Matt reconnected when the former Lakers forward played near Govan's hometown in Oakland. Despite allegations of domestic violence against Barnes, he and Gloria still tied the knot in 2013, but ended things after two years. Matt actually got custody of their twin boys, Carter and Isaiah, while Gloria is now happy with another NBA veteran, Derek Fisher. Now, speaking of unhappy endings, Amare Stoudemire and Sierra are up next. Before singer Sierra was able to find comfort at the hands of the great Russell Wilson, she actually made the mistake of falling for former Knicks forward Amare Stoudemire. To be fair, it was quite a fairy tale at first, with Amare and Sierra seen enjoying each other's company at several exclusive parties. However, just when Sierra thought she found the one, Amare cheats on her with his ex, who later became his wife. I don't know about you, but I believe Sierra got the better end of this deal with Russell. Next we have Sasha Vujicic and Maria Sharapova. An NBA player dating a world-renowned tennis player is certainly a match made in sports heaven. The two actually met at a common friend's barbecue party back in 2009 and got engaged only a year later. Sadly, the engagement was called off two years later, with Sharapova saying that their careers were the very things that drove a wedge into their relationships and into their hearts. But that doesn't mean that NBA players don't get happy endings. Take for example Dwayne Wade and Gabrielle Union. After failing in their first marriages, Dwayne and Gabrielle found each other while co-hosting the Super Bowl back in 2007. Although it must be noted at the time, the NBA star was still married to Savon Funches. In 2009, rumors began circulating that Wade and Union were in fact dating. While they were not wrong, the couple made their debut a year later, which is a month after Wade's divorce to Funches was finalized. Then a few months into 2013, Dwayne and Gabrielle actually went their separate ways to focus on their careers. The two finally tied the knot a year later and embarked on an adventure in the Maldives for their honeymoon. Now, the Wades are actually still going strong with their latest child, Kavia James. Next, we have Nick Young and Iggy Azalea. Iggy and Nick actually got engaged in 2015, just in time for his 30th birthday. On the day he popped the question, Young gave Azalea an 8 carat fancy intense yellow center stone, featuring 2.28 carats of white diamonds, set on 18 carat white gold. 
But in 2016, Iggy announced that they were postponing their wedding until they officially called off their wedding, on the news that Nick Young actually admitted to cheating on his bride-to-be. This was leaked via a videotape by his Lakers teammate D'Angelo Russell. Next, we have Kevin Love and Kate Bach. Cleveland Cavaliers Kevin Love and Kate Bach have been together for a good four years, and they're not showing any signs of giving up. That's despite Canadian model Bach was injured after the two went on an adventurous trip to Wyoming. Joaquin Noah and Laís Ribeiro is next up. LA Clippers big man Joaquin Noah and the Victoria's Secret supermodel had only been dating for about a year when Noah popped the question to Ribeiro while they were attending the Burning Man Festival in the northern Nevada desert. Now we have J.R. Smith and Rihanna. Rihanna is no stranger to dating athletes, and we all know that she did hook up with Knicks player J.R. Smith in 2012. However, the relationship was short-lived, and even turned out to be one messy affair, as the two were seen flinging accusations against each other even after the breakup. Chris Webber and Tyra Banks if you're watching old games of the Sacramento Kings in the early 2000s and are wondering why Tyra Banks was sitting there in the front row, well, now you know, she was there to support Weber. These two lovebirds were extremely close during their relationship, and rumors soon spread that they were actually getting engaged. Despite their busy schedules, Weber repeatedly described his relationship with the supermodel as a serious one. Sadly, a cheating scandal involving some adoring fans of Weber ended up destroying the two-year relationship between the two. David Lee and Caroline Wozniacki Unlike the tragic love story of Weber and Banks, the relationship of former NBA All-Star player David Lee and celebrity tennis champion Caroline Wozniacki was so successful their grand wedding made all of us envious. It was an intimate exchange of vows, with only about 120 guests, but some of the biggest names in the sports industry made it to the celebration. In fact, one of their bridesmaids was none other than Serena Williams. The Tuscany wedding was picture perfect. David and Caroline looked so madly in love. Tony Parker and Eva Longoria. From sweet love to bitter divorce. These two got married after being together beautifully for many years, and a high-profile divorce sent both of them spiraling. I mean, they were married for a total of seven years. But Ava was forced to file for divorce after she found hundreds of indecent messages on Tony Parker's phone. What makes it more messy is that those indecent messages were actually exchanged with Aaron Barry, the wife of Tony's old teammate Brent Barry. The scandalous revelations also ruined the marriage of the Barrys. But years after the incident, the Desperate Housewives alumna remains an avid fan of the Spurs, even though Parker is no longer with the team. I guess old habits die hard. Marco Yarich and Adriana Lima are next. Another NBA player who used to date a celebrity is Serbian baller Marko Jaric. In fact, he and Victoria's Secret angel Adriana Lima were married for five years, within which they had two daughters, Valentina and Sienna. It was a whirlwind marriage as Adriana and Marko met at a 2006 party, got engaged just two years after, then they tied the knot on a romantic Valentine's Day ceremony in Wyoming in 2009. Months before their actual split, Adriana dropped cryptic hints on Instagram that things in her marriage had been rocky. She wrote in one post, quote of the day, he offered her the world, she said she had her own. Another chapter in the Kardashian saga involving Chris Humphreys and Kim Kardashian. Their relationship was so iconic that it must have broken at least one record. You see, Kim and Chris Humphreys had a marriage that only lasted for 72 hours before they decided to call it quits. In fact, the lengthy legal battle that finalized their divorce must have been even longer than their actual relationship. So now, 2011 will forever go down in history as the year Kim dated Humphreys, married him, and divorced him all in the same year. Lamar Odom and Khloe Kardashian NBA stars and the Kardashians have been trying to make it work romantically since what feels like the beginning of time. Khloe Kardashian and Lamar Odom were like the it couple after they first met in 2009. It was like love at first sight, so they decided to get married within a month of their first encounter. Unsurprisingly, it ended in a bitter divorce, but would you believe that their marriage actually lasted seven years? To this day, Khloe swears she still misses Lamar sometimes. Tristan Thompson and Khloe Kardashian are next up. As was hinted earlier, Chloe used to date Tristan Thompson, and they even had a daughter together. She was named True Thompson, which was pretty ironic since Tristan wasn't actually being true to Chloe for the duration of their three-year relationship. In fact, rumor has it that Tristan actually cheated on Chloe while she was pregnant.
Ben Simmons and Kendall Jenner Here starts Kendall Jenner's adventure with three different NBA superstars. Kendall and Ben have been on and off for many years. Latest news has it that they are now actually shacking up together. The next relationship was Jordan Clarkson and Kendall Jenner. Back in 2016, Jenner couldn't get enough of another NBA player, and they were frequently seen publicly displaying their love for one another. At Drake's AMA's after party, people couldn't help but notice how close they were to each other. It was a short relationship, though, and even though Jenner and Griffin insist that they ended things on good terms, Blake ended up saying hurtful things about Kendall and the entire clan at Alec Baldwin's roast. And there you have it. Thanks for watching the video. 